Hello fellow scratchers, in this video I'm going to show you how to code the two players to the game part 3, which is the player movement. So, we first thing first, we want the player to show when we've broadcast play. So drag a when I receive play block, and we want it to switch costume to this player instead of anything else, if you have one. Now, hide! The sprite and we want it to wait until wait until the level is not zero. There we go. Now we want to check if it's level one or level two as in this map. So one check if if it's level one. So, if we click the level 1, right, we want the player to be positioned over here. We want the player to be positioned over here. So, we'll drag the motion block and put this low. Now, for level 2, level 3, and level 4, we will do the same thing. So we want to check level 2 and we want it to position over here so we'll just pin in the coordinates. Okay, now level 3, we want it to be over here, coordinates, and the last level which is level 4, it will be somewhere around here. As well. Okay, so now we've got the levels pinned in, we want to set the x and y velocity. So, create a new variable and name it x velocity and put it for the sprite only. Okay, so set x velocity to 0. Then make another sprite name variable, name it y velocity, and also make it for the sprite only. Now set the x and y velocity to zero. Okay. Now we want to set the size, so we we'll set size to the size is up to you but i'm setting it to about let's try 70 percent there we go i'll set it to 70 percent and now lastly we want it to clear the graphic effects so whatever we do it will disappear okay now now we want to make the player's movement. So add a forever block and set x and y. Now make a new variable and call it x. Make it for all sprites. And also make a new variable called y. Now set x and y. to the x position of the player and also the y position of the player now add an if statement to check if the left arrow key is being pressed now the if being pressed we want to make the position the direction of the player turn to a negative 90. Okay. And also change the x velocity by 90. Okay. Now change it to make it if the right arrow is being pressed. Point in direction 90 and also 
curve is less gain by one. There we go. Now over here, I want to it to censor the ground so it does not. It will add collisions to the player one. So what I want you to do is add a variable, name it set x velocity two, and I want to add a multiply block, and I want to make the x velocity to x velocity zero point nine. Now change x by x velocity. There we go. Now the easiest part when you do is the collisions, which if it is touching the ground, I want you to change y by one. Now I want you to duplicate this and make seven times of it. Okay, and on the seventh time, I want to change x by x velocity times negative one and change y by negative six. So this all will be stable. Okay, and last of all, we want to check if the key up arrow is pressed. Meaning jump. If it's jumping, we want to check. Add an if else block to check if the x velocity is greater than negative one. Okay, and if it is greater than negative one, we want to set the x velocity to negative five. Else we want to set the x velocity to five. In the bottom here, I want you to set y velocity to 12. There we go. Okay, now all the way down, I want you to change y velocity by negative 1. Okay, at the same time, I want it to change y by y velocity. There we go. Now check if we're touching the ground. Okay, and if it's true, we want to change y by y velocity times negative 1. And then at the same time, set y to 0. Make this constant. Okay. Now, after you change y by y velocity, I want you to change y to negative 1, which makes a decrease of that. Now add an if statement, and then add change y by 1 at the end. So in this statement, add an end block to check if the key, if key up arrow is pressed or if you're touching the ground book now if this tr is true the one okay so i found the problem what i want you to do is when i receive it was play before i want you to change it to stops and also add a show block over here okay so now I want you to push and click on any level, and you can see the player over here. Now, if you put the arrow keys and the up arrow, you can see the player jumping, and you also can see them wall grinding.
And also over here it says if x velocity is greater than negative one, change that to zero. You can totally work on it. Ah uh, yes. So here we added an if block. I want you to change it to an if else block. And at the end, I want you to set the x velocity back to zero as well. Now, if you try again and load up your project, you can see this player trying to walk like. Okay, now it's working. And now, add a when green flag click. I want it to hide. So it doesn't appear in front of you. There we go. So now you can see the player one is working perfectly. Now let's do the same thing to player two. What you can do is just drag this code to player two. And now for player two, I want you to change the coordinates over here. So, for player 2, we want the size to be the same, 70, and I want the player to be over here, which the coordinates are, this. Okay, now level 2 will be on top of this cliff, which is 161 and 117. Level 3 will be over here, which is 168 and negative 122. And last of all, level 4, we want it to spawn over here which is 90 and negative 190. Okay, drag this back. And you should see this working perfectly in order. Ah, yes. And also remember, for player 2, change the left arrow key to A, and the right arrow key to D. And for the jump up arrow, I want to use the key W. There we go. Now if you try it again, you can see one of them used WASD, and one of them used the arrow keys to jump. And this is it for this episode and next episode, I'm going to show you how to make these cool looking health bars on your player. And even these amazing health bars on your player, which really helps it out. Before in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to code the players to shoot. And that's all for this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.